like to thank you for giving me this opportunity to interact with the the participants i think uh, there are some students also um, sitting in the program so i will uh, uh, you know modify my presentation uh, according to uh, the uh, somewhat uh, kind of a research as well as the latest developments in the field of uh, engineering not only in engineering because nowadays we are not uh, uh, you know uh, having one branch of engineering we uh, in civil engineering also now interdisciplinary work uh, uh, has been promoted by our government of india and it is a need of the day also because uh, you know uh, until and unless now the civil engineers are also uh, giving emphasis to the uh, more emphasis to uh, the computer application in civil engineering artificial intelligence in civil engineering so lot more uh, electrical mechanical uh, you know electronics uh, mechatronics and uh, 3d printing now each and every uh, kind of aspect is there in in civil engineering so uh, now it is uh, time uh, 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 to work in the interdisciplinary field uh, because uh, you know uh, if uh, uh, you will not uh, work if you will not uh, uh, change yourself uh, 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 with the present uh, aspect of uh, engineering so uh, it is very difficult to uh, uh, cope up with the present situation and pre uh, to solve the present uh, situations present problem in engineering just a minute i am uh, sharing my presentation just a just a minute give me just one or two minutes so is it visible my presentation is visible to all of you is it visible to all of you yes sir yes it is yes sir uh, uh, monica madam it can is I, visible can i, can I see oh. the participants also i think uh, there is some way that i can i can see the participants also in, in the presentation just a moment okay so uh, i feel that uh, uh, i am not having this opportunity to see the participants also but uh, if you are having any query in between you can always uh, um, welcome uh, i I, lo i i love to answer your queries i am a civil engineer and uh, you know my specialization uh, is in development of uh, affordable and sustainable uh, construction practices and uh, you know uh, the solution which is needed uh, in the field because you all are maybe from the the field of electronics electrical civil mechanical so it doesn't matter that you are uh, from which field and uh, now uh, i'll i'll tell you some of the technologies which is not uh, only suitable for construction practices but you can do the research uh as uh, as far as uh, you know engineering colleges are concerned you can take the clue from uh, from these research areas and uh, uh, you know these all are the sustainable practices which is very uh, useful and and needed for the development of our country and you know uh, uh, this uh, that is why i kept this uh, presentation um, on converting waste to valuable because madam has given me uh, the topic uh, that uh, the, the technologies the uh, which is uh, useful for the rural area so i thought uh, that why not uh, the, i change a little bit my topic because of uh, the students are also with us in this program so i i uh, 
I changed this topic uh, from converting waste to valuable. Now, you know, a lot of uh, waste has been generated by the industry. And, uh, you know, now uh, we all know that our country is going uh, towards uh, the developing, uh, to, towards the development and towards the developing country. So, uh, if we want to become a developing country, so uh, industrialization and manufacturing industry, so uh, you all heard about Make in India and, uh, you know, Atam Nirbhan Bharat and all these things. So, these all will lead to uh, the establishment of uh, more industries in our country and, uh, you know, uh, uh the industrial revolution will also uh, it is an opportunity for the job creation but also it will uh, uh, it will give us the challenges uh, with, uh, uh, regarding the waste which they will produce and now it will be the challenging task uh, to use that waste and convert that waste uh, to the valuable material so recently you know uh, with my mtech students i am working on some of the project and recently i got uh, one award from C, uh, CII uh, for the development of sustainable uh, technologies which can be applicable in, in directly into the market. So I would like to show them also that uh, what we have developed and uh, what we are doing here at uh, the NITER level uh, because we are also in the research also. So uh, now, uh, you know, if you will see that, uh, you know, some of the innovation and innovative technologies which is needed uh, uh, in today's era. So. Uh, I'll I'll uh, I'll take uh, you know uh, the the clue from the civil engineering itself. You know now we are talking about the the housing demand and uh, the, the with the uh, up to 2025 uh, we are expecting to have the housing for all and uh, you know the great infrastructure demand because you know development also leads to the development of the infrastructure and uh, roads, uh, buildings, uh, other kind of infrastructure demand we need to take care of and uh, you know these infrastructure demand we can um, fulfill only by adopting some of the innovative and appropriate technologies by which we can make our houses which we can make our infrastructure sustainable and uh, you know uh, uh, with the change of the environment also uh, it is a great concern for uh, us for as far as durability of uh, the uh, uh, construction materials are concerned so increasing demand uh, not only in housing in each and every sector <laughs> now the demand is increasing day by day and uh, you can see that uh, you know now we are talking about uh, uh, the startups and uh, a lot of lot more has been done uh, by our indian government to promote the startups uh, uh, if you will see that one uh, program i was uh, looking into in sony channel that uh, that sharks and shark tanks so the, the, a lot of uh, investors they are coming up uh, to take your innovative technologies so now it is time to come that uh, engineering colleges uh, should gear up and uh, they motivate their student to make the products because you know uh, uh, if you will not make the product if you will do uh, uh, you know only a computerized kind of a thing so it will not help now the time to come that we are we need the product which can be applicable directly into the market. So our engineers, engineering students, they need to come out from the conventional studies and they need to think out of the box that what they can make and how they can uh, create the innovative small small things maybe right. And uh, you know uh, another uh, aspect is uh, you know that we are not having we are having scarcity of material in each and every sector. Not only uh, in construction, in construction, uh, it is a great, uh, you know, scarcity of material. If you will see the sand, if you will see the aggregate, mining is closed. You cannot uh, uh, dug out the sand from uh, from the, the, the rivers and, uh, you know, a lot of problems are there because of these building, scarcity of building materials. So, we need to think the alternative building materials and alternative way. Just a moment. Uh, Mera lecture hai, Vishnu ji. Ji, ji. Haan, boli, boli, chadis. Uh -huh. G -G -G -G. So, uh, uh, so this is, uh, you know, the, the scarcity of uh, traditional building materials and, uh, you know, uh, the, the things, uh, uh, not only building materials in each and every sector, uh, if you see the, uh, in the past, Maruti was 
uh, has stopped their production because of uh, non availability of uh, uh, the electronic chip which uh, the has been uh, import uh, which has been imported from other countries and uh, they were they were not having that chip uh, to install in their vehicles so so that is that is uh, that you know now we need to think alter uh, alternative way for building the technologies for uh, for catering the demand uh because lot of population now uh, they are all educated we all are having uh, mobiles and we are all are having uh, you know computers laptops with us and uh, internet facilities all youtube tiktok so all the things are uh, available with us so we need to make use of these technology in a constructive way for uh, the development of our country right so uh, uh, at the same time uh, uh, all these uh, uh, materials uh, you know they are uh, you know highly uh, energy uh, uh, they need high energy demand and uh, you know if you will see the brick you know for making uh, one brick uh, a lot of uh, fuel uh, is needed to burn that uh, mud uh, to convert it into the brick right so uh, now we are uh, uh, and also you know uh, for making the brick you need to uh, to uh, have the top fertile soil and uh, that uh, mud uh, should have a proper uh, ingredient of clay and sand so so these all are uh, the you know we are depleting the natural resources but now we we are we are thinking in alternative way now uh, you know aerated blocks are uh, there which we are using in the building construction second thing uh, the now uh, you know concrete blocks interlock blocks hollow blocks so lot of things uh, the blocks uh, uh, which is used uh, for uh, used by used uh, which uh, which is made by uh, using the agricultural waste so lot of things uh, are going on as far as uh these uh, tradition uh, depletion of uh, traditional materials are concerned so uh, also you know uh, this environmental issue is also a great concern as uh, you know we are producing lot of industrial waste so here uh, at uh, uh, our level i myself took uh, various waste ma waste materials to convert it uh, into the valuable material first Uh, we took the rubber tires uh, so rubber tires we have converted these rubber tires into different um, uh, engineering uh, to solve the problems of uh, different engineering uh, uh, you know uh, field and uh, uh, we have made uh, some dampers out of that uh, you know uh, uh, a, a lightweight dampers and um, them a uh, very affordable uh, very sustainable uh, house houses so in this uh, field prefabricated construction that is gaining up nowadays because in earlier days uh, we are concerned about the quality of prefabricated construction but now we felt that prefabricated construction practices are more useful and more um, you know sustainable Uh, then the conventional construction practices and that are that is uh, the prefabricated constructions are proved to be a very cheap solution for mass housing if you want to make the mass housing so one uh, uh, organization in delhi uh, uh, bg shirke construction so they are in the prefabricated construction and they are making prefabricated structures in delhi in uh, in narela and you know uh, they are claiming that uh, uh, in one day they can they can give 25 houses in one day right so you you can well imagine that uh, how uh, fast they are going uh, as far as this housing demand uh, uh, is concerned they they are fulfilling the housing demand in a so faster way so there is no alternative way we are finding out that uh, the pre fabricated construction right so uh, these all are the 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 need uh for that uh, why we need this uh, innovative construction technologies and another a very important aspect is climate change because you know if you see nowadays we are having prolonged winters prolonged summers and we are having heavy rainfalls cyclones earthquakes so lot of things uh, we are facing because of this climate change 
recently also the we felt that in some of the countries because of the climate change they were having uh, you know uh, uh, the wind of intensity of uh, 200 kilometers per hour and 150 kilometers per hour so likewise you know now the climate is also giving us the challenges now, uh, that uh, uh, we are talking about all weather roads all weather houses so all weather houses means now we need to have the house which can give you comfort in summers as well as in winters and you know in rainy season also uh, it can sustain uh, uh, by it, it can uh, sustain the uh, with the natural calamities also so uh, now uh, you know uh, we are thinking to make the all weather house uh, all weather infrastructure uh, that can take care of uh, the all the aspects of uh, uh, environment as well as all the aspects of uh, natural calamities so uh, uh, this is why you know uh, the climate change uh, is housing sector is a uh, you know is a ma major concern I, I i have already told you now uh, you know now if you if you see that uh, you know the impact of climate change is ho on housing you know in um, uh, if you will see that uh, in if you will go in the hilly region so they uh, the people uh, who are residing in a a uh, very cold climate so they use uh, a wood as a construction material because wood will give them uh, the, the insulation as well as the thermal comfort so uh, you can see that the wood flooring is there and uh, you know on the walls also on the roof also they they were pro they, they they have provided the uh, the the you know uh, the wood uh, plates on the on the floor Uh, wood flooring and uh, you know all these things but nowadays uh, if you see the getting the wood is a very difficult task right because you know uh, day by day we are uh, uh, depleting our forest areas we are cutting the trees now the government has banned to, to cut the trees and you know uh, now uh, you know alternative technology is needed uh, uh, for using this wood right so what is the alternative technology uh, we can use uh, we can replace that wood because you know we need the comfort uh, in a cold climate uh, we need the wood flooring right uh, so what what is the alternative way uh, uh, to uh, you know uh, uh, as far as the development of housing is concerned and it will give more employment to the rural people also right so i'll i'll, sh I'll share uh, some of the the things now uh, here you know um, uh, I, i want to take you to uh, take you towards uh, our ancient era uh, we were using uh, mud as a constructional uh, material and you know uh, i when i visited uh, some of the the villages in rajasthan so i saw and uh, very sur surprisingly i saw that uh, the the temperature outside is around 48 uh, 47 48 degree celsius and inside that house mud house the temperature is around uh, uh, around 28 to uh, 25 to 28 degrees celsius so how much comfort they are having in their houses in this uh, in this hot climate so mud is a is a very good uh, uh, you know provide very good thermal insulation but now uh, you know the question arises that in today's aspect when we were having multi storied buildings when we are having scarcity of the land can we make the mud houses because if you see the mud houses the thickness of the wall of a mud house is around 1 and 1 and a half feet so but because of scarcity of land uh, we cannot make uh, the the wall of 1 one, 1 one and a half feet so we need to uh, because you know in earlier days we were making 1 one, 1 one and a half feet wall but now we are making only 9 inches of wall so 9 inches of wall mud cannot give you that much of strength that you can make a multi storied building uh, uh, out of a mud wall because mud cannot take the load right so now you need to think innovatively right the, now how uh, you uh, you think innovatively here one architect uh, if you uh, search uh, you know uh, if you search uh, uh, the net i'll show you uh, you know this architect architect samneet kaur this is the, uh, the she is the architect the architect samneet kaur and you know uh, uh, she has uh, is initiated a uh, 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 this misal foundation if you will type uh, uh, you know the the imarat uh, architecture or misal foundation so this uh, the, so she is using a mud as a construction material in flats right 
so how uh, she is using uh, a modern material so you can see that this is the uh, modern construction practices this house is modern but you know what she has done she has plastered the um, the walls from inside out of mud so now you know she is providing the mud flooring also because you know uh, you can uh, you are all, all are the engineering students and you all know when we are providing a very hard floor uh, out of marble or out of vitrified tiles so it will uh, it will impact your knees right so jo ghutne hain aapke knees hain jo aapke so uh, uh, that will have the impact because of that hard uh, floor so now the people they are realizing the fact that they should have uh, you know uh, have the comfortable comfortable floor that can give you cushion and uh, if you will uh, ask any you know gym trainers and all they will always recommend to walk on the mud floor right if when you are uh, you are walking um, for your health you should walk on the mud floor so now she is providing the mud floor and in that mud floor she is mixing lot of uh, you know herbs and uh, lot of uh, oil into uh, that floor and it will uh, it uh, the floor looks like a uh, uh, you know uh, like a uh, shining floor and it can sustain from uh, for, for 20 to 25 years if you will not scratch that floor it will not come out now at a similar way when we are uh, plastering our walls inside uh you know from uh, out of cement and we are we are putting a very harmful paints on the wall so these paints are also uh, you know generate fumes harmful fumes and in, in you can well imagine you are uh, sleeping in a uh, in a floor you are sleeping in a in a room and uh, you know that room uh, is uh, uh, you know uh, producing that much of uh, harmful fumes and uh, with the air conditioning system you are uh, residing in that uh, uh, in that uh, you know house so this is uh, this is how you can uh, uh, she has provided uh, uh, some of the walls these are the all are the mud walls right you cannot make out these all the mud walls or chune se plaster chune se rang kiya hai so uh, that is depends upon you which aapko chune se rang karna hai ki nahi karna hai you can uh, you can keep the walls Uh, as it is also so they they, they are uh, you know uh, if i'll i'll show you some of the the photos out of this imarat foundation so you can see that here uh, uh, here now uh, you know she has converted uh, uh, so this is the this is a uh, uh, a flat uh, in the chandigarh so how she has converted that flat into a very beautiful Uh, uh you know uh, uh, out of mud so here you can see that uh, here you can see that the the mud wall right so uh, when you will go into the house it, it will look so soothing uh, atmosphere and uh, you know you can see that uh, the the exposed bricks are there they all are uh, you know not uh, uh, the, the simple uh, brick kind of a thing a lot of mud plastering on the bricks so now if you are you cannot uh, you know replace uh, a, a big chunk of material so you can replace at least uh, the plastering material out of mud and lot of uh, uh, attention uh, the peoples are are now uh, they are gaining and lot of people they are they are making uh, their uh, the plastering from inside out of mud right so uh, I, i i also recommend i also planning to make my house and i am planning to make my one floor out of uh, the plastering out of mud only mud flooring mud uh, walls right so you can plaster inside from the mud so uh, uh, this is uh, the imarat foundation and uh, you know the, here also you can see the uh, the 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 plastering out from mud uh, on the walls right so in in this way uh, she uh, she is converting uh, these walls uh, and uh, you know she is converting uh, so this is uh, this this is the another picture and uh, you know looking into that is a very good uh, atmosphere in the house and the 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 flat looks uh, looks very beautiful and at the same time if you will enter the adjoining flat it's it it looked like so congested and uh, you know uh, all the things out of concrete but uh, you know uh, uh, so the we have visited both the houses uh, when we will have the classes here uh, in uh, offline mode so definitely i would like to take you to this this house and you can see that how uh, they have made this house out of mud right so uh, this is a, a very innovative technology that how you can use the mud uh, as a building construction material 
so uh, while using the material as far as engineering aspect is concerned some of the tests has been recommended for using of the soil uh, if you are student and uh, you are going anywhere and you uh, you are supposed to uh, ask by the people whether this mud is uh, useful for the construction so it's a very simple test just make a uh, bowl a ball out of 2 uh, uh, cm diameter uh, out of mud and after drying 24 uh, hours in a shed just crush it uh, in in your fingers if it will uh, crush then uh, it is not uh, having the adequate strength so it should not crush uh, by pressing your fingers right so uh, this is a very simple test another test uh, in earlier days you are making snakes out of mud so if that snake will broke uh, below 5 cm then that means uh, that uh, uh, that uh, mud is having less uh, quantity of clay and you know if it will um, uh, the snake will go beyond uh, 15 cm so uh, you uh, you can well imagine that it is having a, a large amount of clay content you need to add sand into it so the average length of that uh, snake should be from uh, 5 to 15 cm so uh, that uh, uh, that way you know uh, so uh, in that way uh, you know in that way so uh, uh, you can uh, 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 you know that uh, uh, that how you can use that mud as a building construction material so here another test uh, you know you you you, uh, you have to make the the brick out of that mud and after drying 48 hours in a shed not dry any of the uh, the mud material in the in the sun dry it in a shade so shade when you will dry it in a shade it should not have the cracks right it should be uh, a flat without uh, a crack visible on that uh, that brick right so another test if you will uh, uh, 60 to 70 kg persons will stand on that brick it should not break so it should have the minimum uh, compressive strength of 1.2 newton per mm square uh, you know that is desirable uh, for the mud construction another thing now i talked about uh, uh, the alternative of uh, uh, the wood right so alternative of the wood is bamboo now the government of india has excluded uh, uh, the mm, the bamboo from uh, the, uh, from uh, the wood kind of a uh, thing and uh, they have allowed us to cut the bamboos uh, from the field and uh, you know lot of bamboos are available in the rural areas now this bamboo uh, you know is a very tricky material and uh, you know unless and until you will not treat this bamboo it will convert into powder but now the inventions has been made uh, by the engineers they have converted bamboo into wood right by treating this bamboo and by making a small pellets of uh, this uh, bamboo and they combined it with the glue and uh, you know they they have converted uh, this bamboo into wood very efficiently and now they are converted this uh, bamboo as a wood flooring bamboo wood flooring right they they named this as bamboo flooring and you can make you cannot make out that uh, uh, the flooring is made out of wood so i'll show you a, a small film um you can you can also search on youtube also so uh, that uh, i'll show you a small film that how uh, they have converted the bamboo into wood so just a moment i need to i think uh, yes sir it is visible so you can see that uh, how they are converting the bamboo into wood all are 
the treatment chambers because unless and until you will not treat that bamboo you cannot use it So this, you can see that how uh, they are converting uh, this bamboo uh, into wood. Uh, just a moment, I'm I'm showing you one more video. So one more video that how they are converting that uh, that uh, bamboo into wood, and you can make the the wooden panels. You can make the, the doors out of it.
so you can see that uh, by this uh, the women empowerment can be done and uh, you know a lot of uh, uh, you know women in the villages uh, can be employed in this uh, in this field and a uh, lot of uh, things can be done here quality of the product so how we are uh, uh, you know uh, doing uh, in our country so here you can see that how we are doing in our country so this is one of the person um, uh, in jaipur and uh, you know using this bamboo flooring ek aapka interior dost sri anupam jaipur se ye wala jo video hai ye humne banaya hai aapko bamboo floor ki information dene ke liye आपको आइडिया होगा जैसे अभी जो वुडन फ्लोरिंग का ट्रेंड है मार्केट में वुडन फ्लोरिंग बहुत लग रही है तो वुडन फ्लोरिंग में एक बार दोबारा आपको रिफ्रेश कर देता हूँ मेरे दूसरे किसी वीडियो में आपने देखा होगा कि मैंने जो सॉफ्ट फ्लोरिंग है उसके बारे में एक अलग से वीडियो बनाया हुआ है वुडन फ्लोरिंग में बेसिकली नॉर्मली तीन ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है अपने को एक है लैमिनेट वुडन फ्लोरिंग एक है इंजीनियर वुड फ्लोरिंग और एक है रियल हार्डवुड फ्लोरिंग एक जो नई जो बहुत ही अच्छी और बहुत जिसकी लाइफ जो आप मेजर नहीं कर सकते ऐसी फ्लोरिंग है वो है बैम्बू वुड फ्लोरिंग बैम्बू वुड फ्लोरिंग मतलब बांस से बनी हुई फ्लोरिंग इसका जो प्रोसेस है बनाने का ये कैसे बनती है उसका एक वीडियो हम अलग से बनाएंगे लेकिन अभी मैं आपको बहुत संक्षिप्त में ये दिखाना चाह रहा हूं कि बैम्बू वुड फ्लोरिंग में आप कितनी अच्छी जो आपका जो इंटीरियर है या एक्सटीरियर दोनों इंटीरियर एक्सटीरियर में दोनों में लग सकती है ये ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट बात है तो इससे आप अपना कितना अच्छा इंटीरियर बना सकते हैं और एक्सटीरियर कितना अच्छा कर सकते हैं आ, थोड़ा सा आपको कैमरा नजदीक लाना पड़ेगा ये हमारा एक आपको सेट कार्ड है आप देखिए ये आप देखिए इसमें कितने कलर ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है एक दो तीन चार पांच और एक छ छ ये और ये कलर शायद एक ही है इतने सारे कलर ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है आप ऐसे नॉर्मली देख के आप ऐसे बता नहीं सकते कि ये कौन सी लकड़ी है बट ये जो फ्लोर है ये बैम्बू से बनी हुई है और इस बैम्बू फ्लोरिंग को लगाने के बाद आपको बिल्कुल आप ऐसे मान लीजिए कि जीरो मेंटेनेंस प्रोडक्ट है ये ये टंग एंड ग्रूफ सिस्टम में आती है एक के अंदर एक दूसरी फंस सकती है इंस्टॉलेशन का वीडियो एक अलग से बना देंगे और ये इंडोर में किसी भी तरीके की इसके साथ एक थोड़ा सा मैं बोलचाल वाली भाषा का सब प्रयोग करना चाहूंगा इसके साथ आप कितना भी बुरा व्यवहार कर लीजिए इस फ्लोरिंग का कुछ भी बिगड़ने वाला नहीं इसके अलावा बैम्बू वुड में ही आपको एक्सटीरियर के लिए डेक वुड अवेलेबल है यह आप देखिए जो डेक वुड का लुक है एक लुक ये है सो so देट कि अगर आप मान लो किसी स्विमिंग पूल के पास में ऐसी एरिया में स्लिपरी एरिया में लगाते हैं तो कोई आदमी स्विमिंग पूल से बाहर निकलता है तो जो स्विमिंग मूड में रहता है 
उसकी वजह से वो फिसल के गिर जाता है नॉर्मली इसकी वजह से वो प्रॉब्लम नहीं आएगी और दूसरी साइड में ये वाला ग्रुप बना हुआ है दोनों ही ग्रुप आपको फिसल के गिरने से रोकता है और कितना भी ये पानी में रहे ये फ्लोर इसका कुछ भी नहीं बिगड़ता है तो ये बहुत ही एक खूबसूरत चीज है एक दूसरा कलर है इसमें ये अवेलेबल है ये बैम्बूड और बहुत मजेदार बात यह है कि ये इतना बढ़िया प्रोडक्ट ये अपने भारत देश का ही बना हुआ है हमारे जो प्रधानमंत्री मेक इन इंडिया और इंडियन प्रोडक्ट को प्रमोट करने के लिए कहते हैं उसी के तहत ये प्रोडक्ट 100 परसेंट इंडियन है और बहुत ही प्यारा और बहुत ही मजबूत प्रोडक्ट है तो जब भी आप अपना कभी इंटीरियर प्लान कर रहे हो तो बैम्बूड फ्लोरिंग को जरूर कंसिडर करिएगा ये बैम्बूड की फ्लोर लग सकती है वॉल क्लाइडिंग भी लग सकती है सीलिंग भी लगा सकते हैं और आप इसका डेकोड में भी यूज कर सकते हैं थैंक यू वेरी मच so uh, you can see that uh, how this uh, bamboo is very useful and uh, you know how you can use this bamboo as a as a flooring material so uh, you know uh, i feel that uh, you have uh, the uh, you have the the glimpses of uh, that how you can convert a conventional material by taking the uh, the present aspect present situations and uh, the present scenario of construction right so this is uh, uh, this is all about the bamboo and here you know uh, uh, we uh, you know lot of uh, pollutants lot of pollution is there uh, in the country so here you can see that the the solid waste uh, the available in delhi and lot of methane gas has been produced and that uh, that got fired and uh, you know lot of uh, environmental hazards uh, hazard is there so here we, you know we took uh, one challenge of uh, using electroplating waste that uh, comes from uh, uh, you know uh, the steel industry making the steel equipment so uh, so this electroplating waste is a hazardous waste and uh, you know lot of chemicals are there inside it and uh, you know it is a great problem for the industry uh, people uh, of ludhiana and uh, you know they are giving money to dispose it off a uh, lot of resources they are uh, they are uh, they are deployed for using this sludge because you know pollution uh, control board is always having eye on them that how, what you, they are doing with this hazardous waste so now we uh, one of our phd student uh, took this challenge so th uh, they dried up uh, this waste and uh, uh, you know this is the electroplating waste and they dried up this you can see that it is look like a, uh, like a mud right so uh, mm, uh, these all are the the components which were present uh, uh, in the electroplating waste you can see that iron carbon calcium silicon nickel all the type of gradients they, they were there in uh, in the field Um, okay 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 so uh, so this electroplating waste uh, uh, you know uh, which we got from the industry uh, uh, steel industry so you can see that uh, uh, here uh, that electroplating waste has been dried up and uh, it looks like a mud and uh, uh, you know these all are the 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 components which uh, uh, were having in that uh, zac sludge you can see that uh, Uh, the calcium silicon sulfur all the type of uh, hazardous material you know uh, is there in inside that sludge so if you will dump into the uh, uh, you know field or if you will uh, dump this waste uh, the below the earth you can see that how much environmental degradation we are we are doing by dumping it uh, in the soil and uh, you know Uh, 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 it it will pollute our water. It will pollute our soil. So uh, this is the uh, uh, we took the challenge and uh, you know we convert uh, uh, we convert. Uh, so we sorry I think I have shared a wrong presentation. Oh, okay. So here uh, you know this uh, electroplating waste. You know we have converted it. Uh, this is the first trial. This is a second trial, and uh, uh, you know, uh, by it giving the trials alternative because research is always the trial. So at the end, you know, you can see that we made the the finished product, and you know, we made the paver blocks out of it. So you can see that we made uh, a different kind of material having different flexibility, and uh, uh, you know, these are the tiles which we made. So now this is the finished product which we made. Uh, uh from that electroplating waste so you can see that and uh, you know uh, the leaching uh, from this product is uh, uh, negligible less than uh, you know the, it uh, absorb less than 1% of the the water and uh, water resistance uh, resistant uh, thing is there and uh, you know it will not pollute your uh, the water as well as it will not pollute your ground 
so we have converted that material into mud and now we took the challenge for using um, the the uh, sewage uh, sludge and uh, now uh, we are trying to uh, uh, use that sludge we are trying to make it uh, as a useful material like we have converted this uh, material also so one of my uh, uh, mtech student is working in this field so this is the you can see that paper blocks which we made uh, out of that so another uh, uh, waste has already faced is uh, you know your plastic pet water bottles so uh, pet water bottles is also a very uh, uh, you know challenging task for using it so how we have converted this plastic water bottle into a useful and valuable product we have uh, converted this plastic water bottle into grid and uh, uh, we have uh, Uh, tested uh, this grid for improving the shear resistant of uh, shear resistance of masonry walls because you know uh, the masonry walls they are very weak in um, any um, natural uh, hazard like earthquake so uh, whenever a horizontal force is applied on the any of the wall it will uh, you know uh, it, it, it is very weak in uh, shear and uh, you know overturning uh, movement so we have converted uh, uh, we have applied this Uh, this material into walls so uh, pet water bottles around 8 million tons of uh, uh, plastic we are dumping into the ocean so the, uh, another thing we used a rubber tires as a um, uh, which is uh, which was a waste material and uh, you know you can see that uh, this uh, waste of the rubber tires are uh, you know uh, is a problem big problem in the world and uh, the graveyard of the tires can be seen from the space also this is the picture of space and uh, this is the picture of kuwait so you can see that how much tons of tires we are uh, using and uh, you know uh, we are uh, uh, throwing it into the ocean or we are dumping it on in the ground and uh, you know in a hot summer they got fire and uh, you know in india also we are using this material for in a brick kilns so you can well imagine how much pollution we are uh, we are catching with so uh, this is a, a small uh, uh, you know presentation of uh, uh, i i don't want to go into that straight away i'll show you the the use of uh, this pet water bottle so this is the the use of the pet water bottle you can see that we made the grid out of it and uh, you know uh, this is the grid which we have made out of pet water bottle and uh, you know this these all are uh, we did with the american standard uh, we adopted to test our specimens so uh, you can see that we have applied this grid on the on the wall you can see that we nailed it in the wall and uh, you know we tested uh, in diagonal tension test so uh, this this is how we test these structures and you can see that uh, you know uh, uh, you can see that the diagonal tension test result it is a well comparable with the conventional material which is uh, which we are using nowadays which is geo grid so this pet water bottle can also be used as a as a grid for improvement of uh, uh, its strength uh, improvement of its shear strength so you can see that the the test specimen and this is the this is what we have used is the ply of the radial rubber tire this ply of radial rubber tire is having two wires of uh, steel and two wires of nylon embedded diagonally into it and uh, you know this is a very strong material and uh, it's a viscoelastic material you can you can use it uh, in engineering form you can use it in mechanical engineering for uh, you know for minimizing the vibration because you know earthquake engineering and mechanical vibration is a similar kind of a thing we always uh, used to study the uh, the free uh, the theory of vibration also when we are uh, we are studying uh the earthquake engineering which is a subject of mechanical engineering so uh, the, uh this uh, uh this material can be used to minimize minimize the vibration in the in the vehicles also right so uh, this is the damper which we made uh, mm, uh, the uh, for uh, beam column joint and you know that that is how we placed and uh, we we have placed this uh, radial rubber tire as a frictional material into the damper and uh, you know uh, we got uh, the very encouraging results you know you can see that no cracking a very minimal cracking uh, is there instead of a, a, a um, specimens without damper right so th uh, th these all are the experimental result i think Think uh, uh, the you all can well, well understand that this is the cyclic behavior of that material and lot of energy dissipation around 70 to 80 percent of energy dissipation is there. So this is how we have used uh, uh, some of the material, uh, you know, waste material, and uh, we have converted that waste material uh, into the uh, into a very useful material. And uh, you know, uh, uh, this is the friction which we got from the damper. so uh, you know another thing i want to show you uh, uh, as far as this uh, the research is concerned 
you know in this uh, now our days uh, uh, you know if uh, uh, one can see that now we are talking about uh, uh, you know uh, the the biomimicry this term biomimicry i want to introduce because a lot of engineers they are doing research into that now we are taking clues from the nature and uh, for solving our engineering problem also because you know when we saw about the nature nature doesn't waste anything waste for one is a food for another this is the cycle of uh, the the life right so uh, now we are taking clue out of it and uh, you can well imagine now the engineers are thinking in such a way that uh, uh, you know uh, uh, if environment can do that why we cannot right so uh, for example uh, if if i'll say the example that uh, you know uh, uh, if you, you if you you can see that uh, if, if i'll ask one question that uh, uh, how much colors are there in a peacock feather एक एक जो मोर के पंख में कितने रंग होते हैं एनी वन कोई भी बता सकता है मोर के पंख में कितने रंग होते हैं हाउ मेनी कलर्स आर देयर इन पीकॉक फेदर एनी वन सेवन सर नो डाउट इट्स अ गेस बट आवर स्टूडेंट्स आर सेइंग सेवन ओके सेवन एनीबडी एल्स अरे कोई अनम्यूट करके बोलो भाई अनम्यूट कीजिए मिस्टर राजकुमार सिंह या डॉक्टर राजकुमार यस सर यस सर हाउ मेनी कलर्स आर देयर इन पीकॉक फेदर सर आई थिंक देयर आर सेवन कलर्स कितने रंग होते हैं सर सेवन कलर्स सेवन कलर्स ओके 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 डॉक्टर मोनिका डॉक्टर मोनिका लांबा हाउ मेनी कलर्स आर देयर मैडम इन पीकॉक फेदर सर वी आर टेलिंग यू ना इट्स सेवन कलर सर सेवन ओके एनी वन मोर संदीप कुमार संदीप कुमार मिस्टर संदीप कुमार नो इट्स ओनली इट्स सर अकॉर्डिंग टू मी व्हाट आई कैन सी इन पीकॉक कलर फीदर लाइक It's blue, green, brown, and yellow. Four yeah, colors yeah, I can yeah, see. Yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Right. So uh, everybody is having. There are different colors in peacock feather. But uh, you know, surprisingly, if you know that peacock feather is having only one color, that is brown. Only one color, that is brown. That brown color feathers are placed in such a way. Then when the sunlight falls on that feather, it will reflect into different colors. Is it? Is it? Isn't it sur surprising for us? Yes, it is. It's, it's, it was, it's very interesting to listen that. It, so it was. It was. It was surprising for me when I I heard about this term biomimicry when I was attending the program at IIT Roorkee. So that uh, the expert was telling me. Uh, so I searched. I I got up a lot of attention and uh, you know a lot of uh, curiosity of, out of it. When I searched that uh, you know there is only one institution. in the world who is working in biomimicry and now the all the engineers also they are working in this field so uh, the peacock feather is having only one color brown in nature and placed in a different uh, way when the sunlight falls on it it will reflect into different colors so you can well imagine if you are uh, you know it is a structural solution it is not a, a chemical solution and uh, when we are painting our cars out of chemicals so uh, chemical uh, solution uh, you, you can well imagine we can paint our car uh, which is uh, having a structural solution your car can appear into different colors a practical example i'll show uh, i'll tell you that have you ever seen somebody is washing the leaves from water and uh, cleaning that leaf out of clothes pedo ke patton ko kabhi saaf karte dekha hai kisi ne मिस्टर रवि जैन जी रवि जैन एनीबडी हैव सीन दैट समबडी इज क्लीनिंग द द लीव्स ऑफ फ्रॉम द क्लोथ कोई पत्ते पत्तों को कुछ कपड़ा लेके कभी साफ करते देखा है एनीबडी मिस्टर जय प्रकाश हा ना तो बोलिए यस नो 
yeah sir leaves are used for serving the food in some of the places uh, at that place we can see we can aapne ghar ke bahar aapke ped hai kabhi kisi ko patte ko saaf karte dekha hai kapde se no sir no sir we cannot we cannot clean that uh, leaves but nature has provided the solution and surprisingly uh, you know when i we came to know that leaves your trees used to take bath daily at uh, early morning in the 4 o'clock how they are taking bath so when the dew drop falls on that uh, leaf all the dirt particle it will take and uh, you know it will drop down so the the leaves will be clean out of dew drops what jo uh, when the engineers they studied the structure of the leaf the structure of the leaf is such that when the dew drop fall on that uh, leaf uh -huh. it will scroll down uh -huh. राजमाजमेंट धूल को दीवार पर चिपकने ना दे धूल को दीवार पर चिपकने ना दे so that is the solution uh, from the biomimicry and you know uh, now we are also thinking as a civil engineer why we cannot have the columns uh, because uh, uh, in such a way uh, like a bone bones if you will see the bones of a elephant elephant is having a large volume but having a very small volume of legs choti choti tange hai aur uske beech mein bhi ek haddi hai and that uh, that bone is also having the outer shell having the bone marrow and the tissues into it can we convert uh, our columns like that yes we can so now we are taking clues from that and uh, you know if somebody can work on that i if i'll find my one of my phd student then i'll, I'll definitely work on this field can we save our concrete because we are making the concrete jungles and one day you know like the plastic plastic was the greatest invention at that particular time but we have not managed that invention well that is why that invention uh, uh, was uh, creating a, a great problem for us nowadays so now we are using concrete 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 in a big way so at a one particular time uh, we were thinking if we will make our structure out of concrete it can sustain up to hundreds of years but now this is not the situation the concrete is also having corrosion and uh, your conc uh, your concrete structures they are depleting in only 30 to 35 years right so this is how you know you can take care of uh, some of the technologies and uh, uh, you know how we have uh, we are doing research here um, at niter and uh, you know uh, we are having uh, some collaborative research with cbri uh, with iits so uh, uh, this all these all are the things which we are doing here and uh, this is all about uh, my presentation also Uh, so if you are having uh, having any query uh, you can unmute yourself you can ask and uh, thank you for uh, your patient uh, uh, listening to my lecture i think some students are there so they can also unmute themselves so if they want to uh, ask anything and uh, you know they want to have any clarify regarding this uh, this invention this research what they want to do so they are most welcome